Jin here and welcome back to Blindly Honestly. And if you are new, hello and welcome and I really hope you enjoyed today's video as well. And before I get started, I'm going to ask you guys all to do me a huge favor. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And go ahead and share this video out so your friends can watch it as well. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into today's tutorial. So this is day three of the 12 days of Christmas. We will start back up again on Monday. You get three videos a week for the next, for the next month. And then after that, I think I'm gonna jump down to about one or two a week. So for today's tutorial, I am going to be jumping back into the James Charles palette. So we are mainly going to be using these colors right here. But I'm also going to be using this one as well. So first and foremost, we're going to prep the eyes. And like last time, I'm going to be using my P. Louise. And this is Rumor 0.5. Okay, so we're going to do something a little bit different this time than what we did last time. We are going to take this overly large fluffy brush. This is the R40 from Morph. So we are going to pick up canvas which is this nude shade right here and we're just going to set the P. Louise. Now normally I will not set my P. Louise base but I am doing so just to kind of help these colors blend a bit. In case we have our tape on. Ooh. Okay. So we are going to start with a darker shade and that is Escape, and this is this dark purple right here. We are going to take this flat brush. This is from the Vintage. This was also a item inside of a boxy charm a few months ago. So we're going to take that Escape shade, and we're going to pack it on right here. But don't blend it out yet. Just pack it on nice and thick. We're just going to stick on our lower lid while we pack this on. So now we're going to take a blending brush. This is R34 by Murph. And we're going to pick up two different shades. We are going to pick up Love That in single. And we're going to take both of these shades together and we're going to blend that into Escape. So we're going to take it, blend it into Escape, and then blend up into about a third of the way into the crease. And then just keep blending. It's gonna take a good amount of blending to get these three colors blended together so and if you want it to be a little bit darker you can always pop it back into escape tap it off and blend that into it these colors blend so beautifully I'm in love so now we are going to take a flat brush that is a little bit fluffy this one is from storybook cosmetics and as you can see, it does have a very flat tip, but it's still pretty fluffy. So we are going to jump in to Skip, which is the most controversial color on this palette. So we just want to get the tip. And then we're going to stamp it onto our eyes. And if it is easier for you when doing this, take a mirror, hold it down, Tilt your head and look down while you're stamping so that you for sure get your crease where you want it to go. And don't do what I just did, don't blend it in, tap it. Tap. Just like that. Tap it. <laughs> Now, taking another blending brush, don't use the same one. So I'm going to use R39, this one is stained blue. <laughs> but I'm going to use R39. And I'm going to jump back into single, which is this one right here. Very, very little. You do not need a whole lot on the brush. And then you're 
just going to blend it into skip. And then also blend what you've already done into skip as well so it's all cohesive. And we're just going to do back and forth blending. You don't need to do circles with blending with this. Just back and forth. Now it is kind of coming together so we're going to do a little bit of circular and start from the bottom inner outer corner of your eye and blend it up so that way we can try to kind of get that dark escape up into the inner corner. But as you can see it has like a really nice gradient into the lighter so we're going to do the same thing on this side. Alright so now we're going to cut our crease and for that we're going to use the P. Louise. I'm taking a flat liner brush. This is from R. This is R43 from Work. I'm just going to get a little bit of the P. Louise on it. Okay, so you need a dense shadow brush. This is R42 from Morph, and we're gonna kind of blend two unconventional colors together, if that makes sense. So we're gonna take this pink right here, this is Pinkity Drinkity, and we're gonna pack this on where we cut our crease. Be careful not to blend your brush back and forth or you'll mess up your line. Okay. Remember I, I said unconventional colors? So we are going to take this color, this is Hello, and we're just going to take a little bit of it, not a whole lot. Just barely tap your brush in there. And then mix that on top. This will all make sense soon, I promise. Okay, so now I'm going to take some glitter, and this is from Pinky Rose, which if you have not heard of Pinky Rose, you're missing out. This is an amazing brand. So Pinky Rose has a bunch of these glitter wands. These are my favorite glitter for the lids. And you can use them on your lips, your lids, whatever mood you're in. Because you put it on, you don't even need glitter glue. You can just pat it on and then it dries less than a minute. Yeah. So this is the shade Cotton Candy. It is like a really pretty blue, pink, purple glitter. So we're going to take this. And right where we cut our crease, we are going to apply this. Do be warned to make sure when you put this on, you put it on in a dabbing motion and not a sweep because it's going to take off the shadow. And we need that color base underneath. So you can apply it one layer and then let it sit for a minute so it dries. We're going to go ahead and do our other eye. So once it's dry, we are going to do another layer. Now, take your finger. You don't need a brush. Take your finger, dip back into Escape, and just kind of blend that right here into the glitter. Then take a clean blending brush. This is R38. Gently blend it into the glitter. Because it ain't going nowhere. And if you're not happy with how thick the glitter is, go ahead and apply more. Then it looks really, really good if you kind of sweep some onto the, uh, the, part, the whole lid. Just so it's a bit more coercive or cohesive. A little bit of glitter everywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation and then I will come back and finish off of this look because we are not done yet. But I have a few things that is just easier done once you have foundation on. So, so I'll be right back. Okay, so kind of weird. All right, I'm not wearing false lashes. In the picture I posted on Instagram last night, I do have false lashes on because I did that look last night rec recorded it today 
I tested out the Kush mascara from Milk Makeup and I've never really had luck with this mascara but you know I decided to try it again after talking to King J and Neon MUA on Twitter last night I'm like okay you know what I'm gonna try it again so I did the bra or the mascara in the bra trick to let it get nice and warm so while I was doing my makeup this whole time I've had my mascara sitting in my bra getting nice and warm and toasty I am honestly so freaking in love with how my lashes look right now. Like, I'm hoping that you guys can see what I'm talking about. They look so full and, like, dark and beautiful. It is kind of messy down here, but just, like, I love how they look. Like, I've never really had a mascara do that. You know what I mean? So, I'm not going to do falsies today. I don't know. We're stepping away from the falsies again. And if you are curious, this lipstick I'm wearing is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is Sugar Plum Liquid Lipstick. It's very glittery. I love it. Okay, so for the finishing touches. So going back into the James Charles palette, I'm taking this blending brush from Echo Tools. And we are going to pick up Escape again. And this is going to get blended underneath the eyes. And then now we're also going to dip into Love That and Skip Again. And we'll do a little basic blend down here. This eye is just not cooperating now. I don't know what happened. It was behaving so well earlier. The secret to making shadow behave is a damp beauty blender. <laughs> so now we're going to do inner corner pop and we are going to take a kind of like flayed blending brush. This is from the gemstone collection from Morph. We're going to pop into hello again and we're just going to pop into there literally. And then right into your inner corner. Alright guys, so that is it. That is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this Sugar Plum Fairy look. And it's only fitting that I used Sugar Plum by Anastasia Belly Hills because it's like the perfect lipstick for this look. Yeah, I really love this look. I love the little inner corner pop. I love, 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 love the rose glitter wand. Those are amazing. I actually ordered two more colors. Um, that is it, you guys. If you like this video, please comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. And as well, please make sure you hit that like button if you haven't already. Hit the subscribe if you are new and have not subscribed yet. I mean, come on. And if you want to join the hashtag Butterfly Squad, make sure you have that bell rung because that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. And as I said, we are doing the 12 days of Christmas. Day number four, we'll be right back at you on Monday. But I do have a special video coming up Saturday, which is not Christmas related. So yeah, <laughs> with that being said, I hope you guys all enjoy your weekend and I will see you guys on Saturday and from Monday. So love you guys. Bye.